All right, so you're like me and you got yourself a Windows 7 laptop that you forgot the password on. Either you stole it, hopefully not, or you got it off Craigslist like I did. I got the box, I didn't steal it. I told the girl before I met up, I'm like, yo, make sure you reset your password so I can freaking use the thing. And of course she didn't. I got back here and I restarted. I'm like, this thing ain't working. So you got yourself in this situation. How do we fix it? I figured it out, watch this video. All right, so what we're gonna do Check out this button right here. You open that, that opens some stuff for people that can't hear and stuff. It's like an, another menu. Listen to her. Shut up. Shut up. I don't, I can hear. Obviously that wasn't for people that couldn't hear because she was talking, but what we're gonna do is get a, a copy of this program called Ubuntu, put that on CD, you're gonna boot off of that. That will allow you to load your operating system onto that. You can access that, we're gonna change some files around and make that open the command prompt. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? When we open the command prompt with that, we can run a command to change to reset the password. Man, Microsoft, you need to hire me. All right, so I went and got some internet access and I burned this software called Ubuntu onto this CD here. Uh, you go to ubuntu.com, that's U-B-U-N-T-U.com. You download their software, it's, it downloads in an ISO file and then you burn that ISO file straight to a CD with narrow burning ROM or magic ISO, just Google magic ISO, you can burn that straight to a CD like that. It's really easy. Once you get that on a CD, you put it in the computer, and we're going to restart it, and it should automatically boot from that CD. Now if it doesn't, we can go into the BIOS and change the boot order and stuff, but I don't think we'll have to do that. So let me let it restart. Alright, so that's not booting straight from the CD like I thought. So what I do is hit F12 real quick to enter the boot manager when it starts up on this particular computer. You can see the boot orders, hard drive slash solid state drive, CD, DVD, floppy drive, blah, blah, blah. We want CD, DVD. So we're gonna do that. And then it's gonna boot from the CD. It's gonna load Ubuntu. So it's still loading Ubuntu. All right, so Ubuntu has loaded here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit try Ubuntu. Whoops, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here. They got this little menu that comes up. Then I'm going to hit go, and we're going to go computer. And now maybe on your system, your stuff, your Windows folder might be under your file system. But on mine, it was under the 500 gigabyte hard disk here on this Toshiba laptop. So we're going to enter that. If it ever decides to load, there it goes. Okay, so Windows, Windows folder. And we're going to get the System32. There's a lot of folders. We can just type Sys32. Well, well, I screwed that up. System32. All right, it went down one for me. Here we go. We'll get to that System32 folder. All right, so now that we're in the System32 folder here, we're going to search for a program called Utilman. Right there it is. Utilman.exe. We're going to rename that to Utilman Backup. Without, you can call it whatever, just as long as it's not utilman.exe. Now we're going to go to cmd.exe. Now this is your command prompt. We're replacing the utilman button on the home screen with the command prompt. Right click that, cmd.exe, copy, right click again, paste, even though the paste is blacked out, it'll still work. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to rename that copy to, guess what, Utilman. Bam. That's all we got to do. We got that, we got the, we got the fake Utilman, which is the command prompt, and we got the Utilman backup, which is the real one. We can rename that later to restore it. So now we're just going to exit out of, out of uh, Ubuntu. Go up in the right hand corner here, got this little toolbar ar ar icon, and uh, Hit shut down. I might actually hit something there. Shut down. Sure you want to close all programs shut down the computer? Yes, I do. All right, so Ubuntu popped the CD out for me. We don't need it anymore. We use that. And then press enter. Should restart or shut it down. So if we shut it down, let's turn it back on. Now we're going to boot back to Windows. All right, so here's the fun part. Remember this program that come up when you come down here in the left hand corner? Check this out. 
Command prompt, baby. <laughs> as easy as that. So now that we're in the command prompt, let me show you the command to run. All right, I got a nice close up here for you. All I gotta type now is net user Cassie. That's the username. And then new password. We're gonna type Cassie reset passwords. She sucks at resetting passwords. The command complete successfully. Now obviously I'm gonna change that password. That's a terrible password, but it's pretty easy, guys. Really cool. Microsoft, can't believe they couldn't have made it any easier. I mean, any harder. It's like... There it is. Bingo! Hell yeah, before we done hack that laptop, hell yeah!